Hello and welcome back to Isle with Gondola Store Branding Mock-up Help video. Um, in this video I'll show you how to edit the template. So first let's open up our Photoshop file. Uh, we need to open our layers panel. Let me just move them here so you can see. Here in the layers panel we have five different groups. Uh, gondola mockups and product mockups are the groups where you're gonna be editing your designs. So depending on which one of these you wanna edit, um, open the group and edit the smart object. I'm gonna show you a little uh, later how to do that. Now we have the product branding and the gondola branding. Product branding is here if you want to turn on and off different uh, product groups. So let's say we don't wanna have uh, this top and bottom uh, mock-up or we just don't want to have this mock-up on the top you can turn on and off different rows uh, and different elements so let's say this is how we want uh, this is for gondola let's find two and I'm gonna turn off the top row and finally uh, the same thing applies for gondola branding and finally we have the render here uh, the 3d render that was exported uh, and we can change colors if you turn on and off these hue and saturation elements now if you want to uh, create your own color uh, you can click on any one of these double click on them and the hue saturation uh, panel is going to open up so we can change color we can change saturation by moving this slider we can make it darker lighter etc so you can play with colors of um, the aisles and the gondola itself okay now uh, let's see how to change designs let's change the design for crown or mock-up um, double click on the smart object that you want to change let me just place these layers back in so once I've done that I can either go to file place embedded and then I'm just going to place my own uh, the same design basically once I import it I can scale it up and down and apply it to my design and then once I've done that I can just merge these two layers go to control E on your keyboard and uh, make them uh, one so the file size will stay relatively low or I can create my own designs so if I just place let's say this shape here in the middle I'm just gonna place it here for no reason so you can see the changes once I've done that I can then go to file save and I'm going to save this mockup and it's going to be updated in the main mockup view okay now once I close down the smart object and I go back to the main file as you can see all three crowners have been updated okay uh, you can do this for all the other files uh, we have uh, five types of boxes you can change the design too uh, we have side uh, shelf liner uh, we have the bottom branding here so all the elements you want to change you go through smart objects uh, and repeat the process once you've done that all that it's left is to save the file and export it for your clients okay that was it for this tutorial um, if you have any questions before or after you purchase a template please don't hesitate to send me an email or contact me there are various ways you can contact me through my creative market or graphic river page regardless of uh, depending on where you bought the template 
or you can contact me directly through my email and I'll try to respond as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. See you soon. Bye.